Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'll tell you how to fix home app not working on iPhone after iOS 17 update. Whether you are seeing a no response error, can't add an accessory to the home app or the home app is not working on iPhone after iOS 17 update. Here is the troubleshooting guide to fix the issue. But first subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos and hit the like button. So let's start the video without wasting any time. So the first step is close and reopen the home app. Sometimes small glitches within the home app can prevent it from connecting to the internet and when it that happens, it won't work at all. The first thing to try is to close the home app and open it again. To close the home app, double press the home button on your iPhone. If your iPhone doesn't have a home button, swipe up from the very bottom to the center of the screen. You can swipe back and forth to see all the apps that are open on your iPhone. When you find the home app, use your finger to swipe it off the top of the screen. It's not a bad idea to close all of the apps in case a different one has crashed. And the next step is make sure that your accessory is powered on and nearby. If you are trying to add an accessory to your home app, make sure that your accessory is powered on and nearby. To add a device, open the home app and then tap in the upper right corner and then tap on add accessory. Point your iPhone camera at the HomeKit setup code which is typically either on the accessory or on the accessories box and you are done. And the next step is restart your iPhone and accessory. To restart your iPhone, pressing quickly release the volume up button and do the same with the down button. Press the power button and then slide to power off and wait for some time and press the power button again until you see the Apple logo on your home screen and you are done. Next step is check Apple system status page. It's possible that the home app is not working in iOS 17 on iPhone because of an issue with the Apple service. Check out Apple system status service page and make sure the dots are green, particularly the one next to home and you are done and the next step is turn wi-fi off and back on so for this go to settings and then tap on wi-fi and then tap on wi-fi toggle button to turn it off and then tap on its toggle button to turn on again and you are done and the next step is forget your wi-fi network and then reconnect for this go to settings and then tap on wi-fi and then tap on the eye icon next to your connected wi-fi network scroll down and then tap on forget this network and then tap on forget again to confirm by forgetting the network and reconnecting it will be like connecting your iphones to the wi-fi network for the very first time and you are done and the next step is update your apple id about the settings app scroll down and then tap on general and then tap on software update wait until the page is loading see if there is any update available then tap on update now and update the latest version of is and you are done and the next step is add the accessory to your home using the accessories app. If you are having trouble getting Apple's home app to add your accessory, try adding accessory to your home using the accessories app. And the next step is recent network settings. For this go to settings, scroll down and then tap on general, scroll down to the bottom and then tap on transfer reset iPhone, next tap on reset and then tap on recent network settings. It might ask you to enter your passcode, so enter your passcode and follow the on screen instruction to reset network settings and you are done and the next step is delete and reinstall home app for this press on the home app icon from the home screen and tap on the remove app next tap on delete app and then tap on delete again to confirm and after that go to the app store icon then re-download the home app once the download completes open the home app and check if it is working i hope this solution will fix your issue of home app not working on iphone after i 17 update and also let us know in the comments below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.